Today, we'll be showing you a different kind of game, an augmented reality shooter on a handheld device. This is a dev kit for the Tegra, a powerful new mobile platform from NVIDIA that supports high-end mobile graphics. There's a camera here in the back. We're going to use this to mix real-world video with our 3D graphics. This is the essence of augmented reality, or AR. When you first look at the map, you'll see a quiet town square. Notice how the graphics stay locked on the map as we zoom in and out, and even as we look down the streets. Now we just need something to shoot. Well, how about some zombies? Okay, so we find ourselves in a helicopter over the city. And here come the zombies. See the crosshairs in the center of the screen? We target by moving the device until it's over a zombie. Tap anywhere on the screen to shoot, and there, you've got one. Shoot carefully, because if you miss, the zombies will start throwing things at you. They'll continue to throw things at you until you move far enough away. This isn't a game that you play sitting down. It's meant to be dynamic. You need to keep moving to kill the zombies and to avoid the objects thrown at you. So shooting zombies is fun, but we need a bit more purpose in life. That's where the civilians come in. There's a portal in the middle of the board that acts as a safe zone. The civilians will try to get to the portal to get out. Protect the civilians by killing all the zombies in their path. If the number of zombies becomes overwhelming, you can always grab a bag of Skittles and use them as bombs. Place a Skittle on the map and shoot it to activate a bomb. Orange Skittles act like proximity bombs. Shoot to arm the bomb, then wait for a zombie to come by and set it off. Be careful though, because civilians can also set off the bombs, and they will be instantly killed by the blast. Green Skittles need to be armed before use. Shoot it once and wait for the signal. The particle field will change from red to green when it's ready. Shoot it again to set it off. Those are the basics of the game. Each round asks you to save a certain number of civilians while getting points for killing zombies. You also get points for health and ammo left at the end of the round. Our primary motivation for this game was to explore AR from a first-person perspective. Camera controls that would typically require a mouse and keyboard are handled by simply moving the device. This is both a natural and highly interactive control system, and is perfectly suited for handhelds. We leverage the graphics capabilities of the Tegra for things such as dynamic lighting. Here we've taken the world, including the video feed, and darkened it. Now we use the device as a spotlight to find the zombies. We also perform skinning in the GPU, which allows us to animate many characters simultaneously and still maintain 30 frames per second. Even with the technical constraints of mobile platforms, we have created a game that performs well and, more importantly, is fun to play. It's a new experience that our users have picked up quickly and enjoyed right away.